Welcome to Beyond Sunday with Pastor Nick Williams. South Shore Community Church exists to help all people find and follow Jesus. Join us weekly as we talk through current sermons, theology, parenting issues, and how to have a gospel-centered marriage. We are praying that today's message helps you grow closer to Jesus. Now, here's your host, Pastor Nick. We are continuing our series uh, through the Gospel of John. We're in John chapter four this past weekend. Uh, Honestly, when I walked off stage, I thought of a question. And so uh, earlier this week, I sat down with Pastor Scott and I asked him, hey, if you could could experience or have witnessed any of Jesus's miracles besides the resurrection, what would you have picked? Now, honestly, he had a better answer than I did. Uh, My first thought was Lazarus uh, for a lot of reasons. One, that's one of my favorite stories in scripture. And I'll, I'll tell that reason another day, but um, I thought, man, it'd be cool to see that happen. And, and Scott said, I think it would have been Jesus walking on water. And I thought, oh man, why did you, uh, you had a better answer than me. Uh, because you would get to see Jesus do it and then also get to see Peter do it, which is a big deal. And it's something pretty crazy to experience. But back to the story, we're in John chapter four this past weekend. And we're talking about the nobleman's son. And after preaching three services on a Sunday, I almost always walk off stage with something rattling in my mind, whether it's something I wish I had said, maybe it's something I should have explored more, or maybe it's something I shouldn't have said. Um, But sometimes, like this past weekend, it was something that hit me harder than I thought it would. I'd studied all week, read commentaries, listened to other sermons, uh, spent some time with God, read this passage over and over again. And so I, I would have thought this would have jumped out of me at some other point, but it wasn't until I was on stage, I'm preaching and I'm sharing the story uh, from the gospel that this hits me. You see, if you don't know the story, uh, there's this nobleman uh, that works for Herod and his son is dying and he comes uh, to another city to find Jesus and begs, begs, begs Jesus to come help. And at first, it kind of seems a little dismissive. Jesus uh, actually turns to him and he's talking to both him and the crowd and says, uh, unless you see signs and wonders, you people will never believe. And I, I thought, man, I, I feel like that's so true of, of our generation and myself as well. And then I, as I'm preaching this story, I, I didn't say this from stage. I talked to some people afterwards about it, but I started thinking, man, that's actually how I read the scriptures. When I get to a story like this, I'm, I'm speeding past the details of what city it's in and uh, who the major players are. I want to witness the miracle. I want to see what's happening. And, and so I, 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 even in today's world, am always looking for the signs and miracles. Now, the rest of the story goes, if you don't know it, Jesus uh, said to him, your son will live. It wasn't a promise of, of how he will get better, what his life will look like. It just was a a blanket statement. Your son will live, basically go away. And my favorite, one of my favorite passages in scripture, uh, one of my favorite responses, if you will, was this moment where the scriptures say the nobleman, he took Jesus at his word and he departed. He just walked away. He believed Jesus. He didn't have a relationship with Jesus. He didn't know Jesus intimately. He wasn't even a believer at this point. He just believed what Jesus said and went back home. And not, again, not down the street back home, like hours away back home. And so my, my kind of parting questions for you today, things to kind of let rattle in your mind as they are in mine. First, what are you allowing to stop you from truly believing? What are you waiting to see? What sign or miracle is on your your radar that you think, man, if I see this, then I'll believe. If I see this, then I'll have a little bit more faith. If I experience this, then I'll trust Jesus a little bit more. What are you allowing to stand in the way of you actually having faith in Jesus? And maybe not the faith to believe, maybe you're already there, but the faith to actually be obedient because you're waiting for God to do something to prove himself to you as if he hasn't already proved enough. The second thing I would say is, do you have a faith like this nobleman? And I guess these two questions kind of play hand in hand because the faith was belief, just pure trust in who God is, what Jesus said would be true. 
enough faith to put that faith into action and walk away believing going back home. Do you have that kind of faith? And if not, what's stopping you? What's keeping you from living out that faith? So here's the challenge for the week. Live it out. Live out your faith. Fully immerse yourself in trusting God, trusting his promises for you, trusting that he has a plan for you, trusting that, that his, his intentions are best for you. And maybe that doesn't always play out in our life, but it plays out in his bigger story. So trusting that what you're living through right now is a part of God's greater plan to point more people to Jesus. Thank you for tuning in to Beyond Sunday. We hope the conversations and insights shared here have brought you encouragement and have deepened your journey of faith. If today's episode has inspired you, we invite you to follow or subscribe to our podcast so you never miss an opportunity to grow closer to Jesus alongside us. Don't forget to share this podcast with friends and family who might be blessed by it too. Until next time, thanks for joining us and may God bless you abundantly.